This morning I'm driving to the airport to have a first lesson with a new student. Thought what well, better way to do an aviation video than driving my truck. But it got me to thinking, what are the chances that this uh, student is gonna make it through to his private pilot uh, certificate? The odds are against him. I think the uh, accepted statistic is 80% of people who start private pilot training drop out before they get their license. And uh, there's a number of reasons for that. They don't know how much time it's gonna take or how much money it's gonna require or, or how hard it is. So as I titled this video, is it hard to become a private pilot? The answer is yes. Um, and the statistics bear it out. Like I just said, 80% of people drop out before they make it to their certificate. Uh, there's less than 700,000 pilots in the US, which is about 0.2% of the population. So there are actually a fair number more lawyers and a fair number more doctors than there are pilots. And if you think you're just gonna go out, you know, and take uh, five, six lessons and then start flying your family to the beach, well, you're, you're wrong. And you may laugh at that, but I've seen that. I've had several people start lessons, two or three lessons in, they go, wow, this is way more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. Eddie Van Halen didn't go in his bedroom for a month with that guitar and come out playing like that. It took years of dedication and practice. Michael Jordan didn't wake up one day and say, I wanna be the greatest basketball player and just start doing what he did. So to do this requires hard work and dedication. This is not like getting a driver's license. You're not gonna study a pamphlet for a couple hours and go take a 20 minute road test and end up with your private pilot's license. It's gonna require months, if not years of study and practice. FAA says you have to have a minimum of 40 hours of flight time to, uh, to get your private pilot's license. Very few people do that. I think the, the closer is 50 to 60 hours before people are ready to take their check ride. And it's all based on your ability and how much you can study. I would look at getting a pilot's license more like going to college than I would getting a driver's license. Budgeting time, that's up to you, whether you can fit it into your family and work life, but it will require time. And if you don't put the time in outside of the plane, it's gonna take you forever and you're liable not to be successful. For every hour you spend in the plane, you need to spend at least one to three hours out of the plane studying, working on learning the regulations and the rules and how to fly the plane and the avionics and how to tell weather, how to talk to ATC. These are all things that you need to know to get your pilot's license. But if you have a passion for flying, this is not really work. It might be hard, but it's not work. It's actually enjoyable. Now, is it always fun? No, it's not always fun. You know, when you're first trying to learn to land and you keep popping that plane down onto the ground like a bag of rocks, that gets old, but you get through it. So money's another reason that it could be hard to become a private pilot. It's not cheap. The minimum of 40 hours, which most people don't meet, in my plane at $275 an hour for the plane with the instructor, it's about $11,000. Most people aren't gonna be ready to take their check ride in 40 hours. It's gonna be probably 50 to 60 hours would be my guess. And now you're up to $16,000, give or take. That doesn't count the fees to take the written test and the fees to take the check ride and the fees to get your medical exam and the study materials you need and the equipment you need. For one of the most unfortunate reasons for part of that 80% are medical issues. You can be a great pilot, study your butt off, ace everything, and still be denied your certificate because you have a medical issue. So if you're seriously considering becoming a pilot, get your FAA medical first. Make sure that everything's fine there. You really don't wanna put all that work, time, and money into this and then find out you're gonna be denied for some kind of a medical issue. So if you're someone who's watching this and they're on the fence and say, well, I've always wanted to fly, but I'm just not sure. Before you jump off into the deep end, go take a discovery flight, talk to a CFI, get a little better feel of what's going to be involved. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. But in the end, it's, it's definitely worth it. So to sum up, yes, becoming a pilot is hard. But the rewards are well worth it. As you can see right here, I'm up here flying. Uh, to the coast to see my son, got no traffic. I'm gonna get there quite a bit quicker than if I drove with less stress. And it's just a fun thing to do. So if you really wanna do it, you can overcome the hurdles. It will take some work, will take some money, but the end goal is worth the, uh, the journey.